Good afternoon, Bogey Sports, and welcome to the VDC Battle Stadium Series 2 video. Bring you, you guessed it, probably didn't, Altaria. <laughs> um, this is definitely a very ambitious set run by Sassafras VGC, who does have a YouTube channel. Make sure to link their channel down below in the description. Running the Altaria in Series 2, it's brave. It's definitely brave, but Aldaria does have access to Cloud9 as an ability, which in a meta full of, you know, Palafin, Pelipper, full of Torkoals with all the, the you know, past versions of Par uh, Paradox Pokemon, Cloud9 might actually come in handy in multiple scenarios. And I guess if you really want to include a Bomba Snow, that's that's on some teams, <laughs> not on every single one. But, you know, Cloud9 does actually help against uh, Palfin specifically and just like dealing with rain in general which I think is the whole point of the Altari on this team I'm probably still gonna try to bring it to as many battles as I can even if I'm not going against like any rain matchups because it does also have access to cotton card cotton guard because it is a big cotton ball so that makes sense cotton guard if you guys don't know is one of the most broken moves in the game that not a lot of Pokemon get access to because it raises your defense by three stages that is a lot of defense that you probably don't need but if you're ever in a situation where you have an Altaria in the back and you can eliminate all the special at attackers, you can essentially make an unkillable Altaria with both Cotton Guard and Roost and even further beyond Will-O-Wisp. This is the physical Mon killer. And the killer is just by not dying ever to physical Pokemon. And I'm super excited to try it out. Also, the last move slot is Dragon Breath in case everyone, anyone's curious on what stab damage I'm running. Um, kind of walled by fairy types, kind of weak to ice types, so we're running Steel Terra on top of it all, so we should be A-OK. -okay. The rest of the team is kind of straightforward, kind of just a standard team uh, on every other Pokemon, right? We just have the Flutterman, we have the Booster Energy uh, Bundle. This bundle is actually running Encore, which is going to be super fun to play, and this um, Flutterman is running Taunt. We have the Iron Hands with the Assault Vest, the Amoongus with the Rocky Helmet, and the King Gambit with the Brick Break and Black Glasses. I'm excited to try this. If you guys are excited to see this, go ahead and hit the like button down below and subscribe to Pokemon Sports if you haven't done so already. Uh, the channel is, keep, is continuing to grow astronomically beyond what I expected to grow uh, once we started Scarlet and Violet. So, if you guys want to help us get to 20k, I greatly appreciate it. Anyway, if you guys are excited to see Altaria, Let's go ahead and get on to today's video. My opponent is also running Fluttermane and Iron Hands. Interesting. The rest of the team is completely different, though. I'm seeing Tailwind right away. And I'm noticing that Murkrow is a potential option for my opponent. I think, in general, leading Bundle only spells good things for me. So I'm going to go ahead and lead the Bundle. The Altaria could come here, but I do see a lot of special attackers on their side of the field. The Altaria is going to come in the back. It's going to come in the back so it can deal with Iron Hands and deal with Great Tusk for the late game. But yeah, to start, I think I'm just going Bundle and a Friend. I could go Bundle and Main. I could go Bundle and Hands. I could go Bundle and Poseidon the King Gambit. Who knows? Actually, King Gambit's thing behind this game. That's a lot of fire types. That's a lot of fighting types. We're not bringing King Gambit. It's not the time. I do have fight Fire Terror, though. I'm just saying, I do have Fire Terra. That could definitely kind of catch them off guard, but then they can hit me with the... with the headlong rush. Okay, let's do this then. Let's go bundle. Let's go hands. Just in case we want to stop their Tailwind. Let's go Altaria and let's bring Fluttermane in the back. We'll go with those four. We took a lot of time to decide our Pokemon, which is probably a good thing. Mostly because we kind of have to decide what we're doing with Altaria. <laughs> we're bringing Altaria, so we're essentially playing with three Pokemon. It's a 3v4. Oh, but who knows? Maybe Altaria is going to like super impress me today. Maybe Sassafras was onto something. All right, Great Tusk and Volcarona as the floor disappears beneath me. Pretty decent spot that I'm in, not going to lie. This is a grass type Iron Hands, too, so I could theoretically just swap. I think my safest play is going to be Icy Wind here, followed by a Volt Switch. I could fake out then Volt Switch, I guess. I could also just Volt Switch onto the Altaria. Problem is, I don't want to fake out yet, or do I? I might. 
I don't want to fake out this because that means that I could get flame bodied and that could kind of ruin me. So I'll just fake out the Great Tusk. All right, that's fine. If Great Tusk protects, that's perfectly okay by me. I'm now at least going to slow down the Volcarona a little bit here. I'm actually surprised they didn't Grass Terra right away. Because I could have just fired off a big Hydro Pump and made them very sad. But I guess we'll see what they decide to do here. Probably Quiver Dance, I guess. I could lock them onto Quiver Dance with Encore, though. You know what I'll be doing. <laughs> you know exactly what I'll be doing. <laughs> Fine, you want to do that? You want to dance around like a buffoon? Be my guest. Go ahead, dance around. Um, yep, Encore. Encore and... We'll keep it simple. Volt Switch. Gonna double up into the Volcarona spot. Hopefully Volcarona doesn't decide to protect. Having Quiver Dance and Protect is kind of bold for Volcarona because that means you have no space for Tailwind, you have no space for Rage Power, you have no space for Heat Wave. It makes it a very awkward situation. All right, Encore is gonna connect Headlong Rush into my poor little bundle, but I'm gonna live it. They're gonna lower their defenses. It's a pretty decent spot for me still, I think. You can go ahead and keep doing that. They're gonna keep spamming Quiver Dances, be my guest. I do have to find a way to finish off the Volcarona, though. Because they're going to eventually get too tanky for my side of the field. Um, yeah, because I do just have a bunch of special attackers, huh? I'm going to go Flutter Main. I'm going to taunt the Encore. <laughs> so they're going to be struggling. <laughs> <laughs> Which I think is just hilarious. And also this Great Tusk is going to have to Terrastalize. I'm pretty much forcing the, the Great Tusk to Terrastalize, I think. They're negative one already, so I just have to go for a simple freeze dry. And I'm going to taunt the Volcarona. Hopefully the Volcarona switches and loses the stats, though. No, actually, you're going to switch. Interesting. Going into Rotom. That's fair. I get it. Volcarona is not going to switch. Ah, gaming! <laughs> that is Pokemon if I've ever seen it. That is so Pokemon right there. Can we see a struggle? Can't Quiver Dance out to the taunt? Okay, no struggle. Is it going to struggle next turn? Oh, that is so sad for my opponent. And I don't even care. There's not even a sad bone in my body. Yeah, now I just keep throwing attacks into this side of the field, huh? We're gonna Hydro there. And we're just gonna Shadow Ball there. Big Hydro connects. Yo, Bundle is getting some style points today, dude. Unfortunately, the Freeze never actually mattered. Like, I, I got the Freeze on the Switch in, so it never actually did anything. But it was still funny to see. Alright, we're not doing any damage here. But at least they're going to struggle. <laughs> yeah. We did it. They've been gamed. We forced the struggle. I might need to Ice Terra next turn. The Encore ends. Okay. It, they're probably going to go back into... Great Tusk. I'm surprised they're not just swapping. Mm, okay, that's why they're not swapping. Interesting. Yeah. I'm going to take the hard swap here. Go into my Altaria. Oh, that was a smart switch. Can I prevent this switch? This fake out? I don't think I can. Unfortunately, I can't. I'm going to get faked out and there's nothing that I can do. I'm going to hard swap into my Iron Hands, not my Altaria yet. Not yet on Altaria. And I'm going to terrestrialize Moon Terra. The hands here. I'm going to have to start picking off the side mons. I'm actually a little bit scared now that the now that the encore ended. That was a ve that was very good timing for for their iron hands to come in. That's for sure. There's my terrestrialization. I don't know if this was a little aggressive for me to terrestrialize this right away, but the way that I'm looking at the map, I don't really want to steal Terra my Altaria, and I don't think I want to ice Terra my bundle. Against, like, the headlong rusher, you know? And the close combatter. 
They're also going to Terrastalize here. Who's going to be, though? Most likely Volk? No. All right. Grass Terra? Grass Terra. At least it's not Fire Terra. Could have been a lot worse. This definitely does mean that they're going to live this uh, Moonblast. Yeah, there's a fake out into my Iron Hands. No big deal for now. Will be a big deal later. But for now, it's manageable. Not great damage, though. Fiery Dance. Oh, this is bad. I eat that up, though, thankfully. All right, that's good. And now there's one thing that we now know, and that's the, the, that the Volcarona also shakes off Taunt there. We know that the Volcarona... We could put a lot of pressure on Volcarona now with Fake Out, but I think I also just think that Volcarona is going to protect it. No, actually, they don't have Protect. They would have used it that whole time. Question is, what do I do? Like, fake out feels like a waste of turn. What? I could fake out and attempt to crit with Shadow Ball. Or just another Moonblast into the hands. Just to weaken the hands a little bit more. Maybe the hands is the bigger issue right now. I actually swap the hands. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to take in Great Tusk for free. I'm down with that. I'll definitely take Great Tusk for free. Don't burn, don't burn, don't burn. No burn, baby. That, that's huge. That's really huge. I'm getting a lot of good RNG in this game. All right, bye, Great Tusk. Sashed. Alrighty. I see you, Big Sash. I see you. All right. Now, we know we could live another Fiery Dance. I don't think a Drain Punch will knock out. But a Thunder Punch could para, which could make or break this game. So I'm just going to Shadow Ball. Actually, no. I think Moonblast is always my highest damage output. Into the Great Tusk. I know Great Tusk has Protect, but I also can't afford not to click Moonblast here. I have Sash, so I do have that Blanket. Just in case they... Yeah. Just in case they don't Protect and try to attack. I needed, I needed to just take out the Great Tusk there, because that Great Tusk was the only thing stopping my, my Iron Hands from getting a hit off on this Volcarona. All right, there's the Fiery Dance. Who's going to eat it? I actually don't even go down to Sash there. That's kind of crazy. They do get the special attack drop, which is a little scary. Great damage. No, yeah. No para, though. I'm convinced they don't have Protect, though. I'm convinced. So that means next turn, I could just double. Mm, maybe not double. Hold on. Hold on. I got to think this through. Uh, Altaria is like low-key going to be a sack here, but I don't... I, actually, I don't think so. Maybe not. Maybe Altaria can take a hit. I do just want to have my fake out somewhere on the field. If that makes any sense. And part of me also does want to burn this hands just in case his hands is going to be an absolute disaster. So we got to play this a little slowly, which makes me nervous. Makes me very nervous, but it's all good. It's all good. It's just a game on ladder doesn't actually mean anything. Altari, the once well trained, is coming onto the field. Set up that cloud nine. That doesn't matter. Thanks, Altaria. There's a protect just because I could get fake outed. I'm only a fairy type right now. And then fiery dance into my poor little Altaria. Yo, I eat that for breakfast. What the heck? That's wild. I am baffled. Yo, what are the EVs on this thing? How tanky is Altari especially? That's like a plus three Volcarona. Going for a st I know it's resistant, guys. Don't get me wrong. I know it's resistant, but what are my stats, dude? Oh, max special defense, max HP. I got That'll do it. That'll definitely do it. All right, now we willow you. <laughs> and uh, we're just going to fire off a Shadow Ball here just for some residual damage. I do want the Iron Hands back on the field as soon as possible. I've already decided that this Volcarona doesn't have Protect, so we should be fine on that in, in that regard. Just chipping. Just chipping. They're going to go for another Fiery Dance here. And it will knock out Fluttermane, but I think the, the Fluttermane has fulfilled its purpose in the game. 
There's nothing that Fluttermane can do from here on out that'll make me impressed. I'm a, it's already done its job. Now, Willow, don't miss. Willow doesn't miss. You are now burnt, baby. Enjoy. We are sitting nice and pretty. We're going to get to Altari here today. Here's the wall charge. Too bad you burnt. Too bad you burnt. Oh, my goodness. This is absolutely wonderful. Not going to roost back up. Actually, I don't even have to roost back up. I should roost back up. I should fake out roost next turn. That's the play. That's the game plan. That's the way. So now oh, we still have a whole bundle. Okay, I don't need it though. I'm going to go into Iron Hands. Iron Hands is sociable. Yo, Iron Hands got some friends, dude. Yeah, we roost. <laughs> we fake out. <laughs> this is so mean. <laughs> they don't do any damage to Altaria. Even if I get burned, it doesn't matter. I don't even get burnt. Altaria is going to roost up. This is exactly what I needed to happen. Altaria is unkillable. Look at that damage. Wonderful. All right. Yeah, there's not much left for this Volcaro, and I don't think. And there's definitely not much left for the Iron Hands. I'm going to click Cotton Guard, and these, this Iron Hands is going to realize that nothing can stop me from doing my thing right now. And Cotton Guard. <laughs> and then here, I guess I should just go for the Thunder Punch. Ooh, we live at three. Do we outspeed the other one? There's the Altaria Cotton Guard. Does our hands outspeed their hands is the question. I actually wasn't paying attention earlier on to see if we did. No, that we don't. Oh, but they don't go for the hands. Hold on. They could have taken my hands there. Instead, they decided to not. Hey, I'm cool with that. Volcaron is going to go down to the crit. <laughs> That's funny. The unnecessary crit. They just saw me go for a Cotton Guard. I'm sorry, bud. That might be the end of the rope for you. I'm just going to click it again. <laughs> I don't even have to attack. Just second con guard. Hold on. Let's take a look at the stats real quick. Plus three defense in just one move. Tell me that's not absolutely ridiculous. I guess we'll go for drink punch just in case. Battle was canceled. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. Kind of standard series two team we're up against. Has the Fluttermane, has the Great Tusk, Dragonite, Arcanine, Bundle, and Among Us. A lot of physical attackers on this team, though. One, two, three. Yeah, three physical attackers. So, it's definitely a time and a place for Altaria. In general, it's not a bad place for Altaria. I might have to steal Terra, but it's definitely an, an Altaria in the back game. Look at the rest of the team. It's definitely a bundle lead, though. I could bundle lead with hands and have a lot of pressure against my opponent, but at the same time, they do have the Arcanine. Does the fact that I have King Gambit deter them from bringing Arcanine? Let's see. Let's find out. Let's bring King Gambit and find out, quite literally. Um, as for the last two, I think I do want to bring my Altaria, and it's between hands or main. I think main does more against their team. So let's just bring main. Now, don't get me wrong. Hands did great for us in the last battle. But it just feels like a main game, you know? Sometimes you just feel like a main. All right, Justin. Let's get it. Dragonite Tusks to start the day. Well, I might have to switch my King Gambit. But my bundle's nice and happy here. I can click a button and blow them up. I like that. Uh, those odds. Ice Terra. Icy Wind. Could even Sucker Punch if I really wanted to. But I don't think I want to. Do I even Ice Terra? Hold on. Hold on. I'm getting a little greedy. I will Icy Wind. Part of me wants to just go Altaria right away. They live with double physical attackers, so... I could try to take advantage of that. Take advantage of their speed. Or lowering their speed here. The Altaria should outspeed and be able to get a Cotton Guard off next turn, assuming that I take a hit this turn. Which I think I do. So what's the worst that can happen? They Terrastalize into something that resists ice? 
Speaking of terrestrializing, looks like it's just gonna be Terra Normal probably though. Oh well, that doesn't resist ice. So Dragonite with Flying Terra just happens to be the new favorite toy that everyone's playing with. And I don't think I mind too much. Great damage onto Tusk too. The speed drop is gonna be huge for next turn. Maybe not this turn, but definitely for next turn. CC into my Altaria. Gonna take actually do a lot of damage, but not gonna be enough to knock me out. That might be like Bandit or something. Uh, that did surprisingly a lot of damage for, to a resisted hit. Probably the Terra Blast. I'm assuming that's onto Bundle though. Yeah, it is onto Bundle. Bundle will definitely die to. No, we hang on. Loki surprised. Loki very surprised. Now they're definitely gonna switch moves into like extreme speed. Thankfully, I wasn't born yesterday though. So I'm just gonna go for the hard swap into my flutter main. Do I quick go do I cotton guard or do I willow? I think I'm gonna cotton guard because cotton guard protects me against both of them right away. Willow just protects me against one of them right away. I will start willowing. But first, let me get up this plus three. You know? Especially after getting the speed boost from last turn. We're just going to take that speed boost and try to run with it. Alright, bring in the Flutter Main. Just to take the extreme speed. Slash close combat. Withdraw Dragonite. That's interesting. And then send out their own Flutter Main. Wow, okay. I'm definitely going to Steel Terra next turn. That's a fact. That's also fine. I pretty much got a free turn here. A free Cotton Guard. Hey, I'll take it. I will absolutely take it and run. I'm a little bit concerned with the Fluttermane, though. But not too concerned with the Tusk. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to Shadow Ball the main. Steel Terra, go for the Willow into that spot. So whatever swaps in here is going to have to eat the Willow, which I think is going to be the Dragonite. Yep, there's a swap. They want to try to protect the, the Great Tusk as much as possible. Back into Dragonite. Hopefully Willow connects. There's a Terrestrialization. Yo, Altaria though. <laughs> Altaria though. Bird's got an axe on its head now. Let's see what happens this turn. I'm excited. I'm excited for what's about to happen. Moonblast. Not today, baby. <laughs> Not today. Does get the special attack drop, so rest in peace. My poor dragon breath. Great damage onto their flutter man. Not, not going to be enough to knock out. Is going to be enough to get the special defense drop, though. And Willow does connect. <laughs> this is absolutely wonderful. Also, I don't know if they won the speed tie there or, or what. Or what happened with the flutter main? Could I? I could also just be a slower flutter main. I have no idea how I would be able to tell. Let's just go for the moonblast onto their flutter main, and let's just fire off a roost here. Yes. Okay. It was a speed tie. I was able to outspeed the second time. Nice. 50-50, baby. It's fair. It's fair. And here's the thing: they're gonna get a terror blast off. But they're burnt. So even though we don't have any defense, we still have our Sash. That's crazy. Since that's still a times two stab because of its, you know, previous typing being Grass Dragon. Not Grass Dragon. Dragon and Flying. It still takes me down a Sash. That's wild. But hey, we know that they have a Great Tusk in the back. Which is not that impressive. And we know Great Tusk has Protect, so... I think we're going to have to click protect here. And then let's just fire off another cotton guard. <laughs> we will be the most unkillable. The most unkillable. Altaria on the ranked ladder. I mean, hey, you tried. You definitely tried. I can respect that. Second con guard is now up. This is so toxic. Sassafras, what is what have you created? What have you done to the video game? All right, I guess I might as well start attacking, right? I might as well start firing off hits. 
Oh, they hit the double. Okay, respect. They get the double protect. I could lose all of this to a crit. Keep that in mind. They play to their outs. You always gotta, you know, respect people that play to their outs. But the thing is, I could just come in with bundle now and icy win. Like, it's not that serious, but... Listen, it, it's it save their tusk for another turn. Lift the fight another day, you know? I'm doing absolutely no damage. I think I'm doing more damage with burn damage, but hey, I'm not dying. I'm definitely not dying. Let's go back in the bundle. They haven't clicked E speed yet, which is a little surprising. It's making me think they don't have it. Or they're like banded. They might just be banded. Yeah. Oh, that would explain their swap out. Yeah, they're just banded. Oh, OK. Yeah, look at that plus six. <laughs> um, that makes this turn even easier for me, I think. Do I go for the 95% chance? Absolutely, because I am a mad lad. Actually, I, I actually shouldn't. I should just freeze dry. Either one of these is fine. I'm going to go for the tusk because the tusk already tried to double protect. Actually, no, I'm not going to go for tusk. I'm going to go for the f icy wind. And I'm going to burn the tusk. We'll do that. That's fine. Whatever comes in is going to negative one. It's probably going to be Arcanine. Oh, their own bundle. Okay. Interesting. Quark Drive. Okay, so we're essentially getting rid of the Quark Drive here with the Icy Wind. It's not enough to knock out Dragonite, but it's no big deal. Because I don't think the bundle has what it takes to knock out my Altaria either. It's going to have to rely on a Hydro Miss. Yeah, burn in the bundle. No more flip turns. <laughs> Now, I'm curious as to when my opponent is going to start to hit my Altaria. Because they're doing a good job, like, wiping off, Altari wiping off Al Altaria's friends. But the Altaria is still full health. So in order to win this game, I technically don't have to hit the Dragonite. I have to keep hitting the Dragonite's friends. Because the Dragonite will never do damage to my side of the field. Now, I do have King Gambit. The Pompous. I love that. Oh, that's so great. It's a shiny King Gambit, the Pompous. Um, they can only Terra Blast. So I have no reason not to just like go for a mighty Kotal. I don't even have to sucker, I don't think. Actually, I should, I should just sucker it, right? We just double the bundle. Whatever. You're going to take a, ter a billion Terra Blasts to knock me out. So it's all good. The writing is on the wall, I think. My opponent just doesn't know how to read yet. Yep, there's a Terra Blast. They could always just be banking on a crit here. Going to Tusk. Oh. Uh, I was hoping they would go down so that they don't so that they don't have the option to go into Tusk yet. I'm just gonna sucker punch dragon, I get rid of it. Smack bundle with a dragon breath. Again, not like the dragon breath is going to do any damage, but I think they're just going to swap into Great Tusk anyway. It's just delaying the inevitable at this point, I think. All right, here's a sucker into the Dragonite. They don't actually swap, which is which is surprising. But unless they can one shot my Altaria. They can't win. They do connect with Hydro, though. Yikes. Oh, but into King Gambit. Oh, we eat that. Beautiful. Still not going to do any damage with Dragon's Breath, though. Real tug. <laughs> that is absolutely zero damage. Okay. Hey, listen. My opponent could maybe come out of this who knows the great tusk is not low enough for a sucker punch to ko i have to go for the sucker punch onto the bundle and then willow wisp the great tusk here but they're just gonna protect bundle but i don't really have a better play their best play is to protect bundle oh never mind cool that works too <laughs> works for me works for me i guess they were just hoping that
Well, you well, you definitely got me. I will say that you got me. I was not in fact able to burn you. Hit me with the sub. The sub tusk? Yo. <laughs> Ladder is wild sometimes. In before new meta. Alright, here's the sucker. It's not gonna break sub. There's the headlong rush. We get to see how much a headlong rush will do. Actually, they actually went for the gambit. Hey man, you do what you gotta do. It does mean that I cannot go for Will-O-Wisp. But they cannot sub again, because they have no Healy moves. Oh, in fact, they have the opposite of a Healy move. They have the I'll do damage to myself move. Interesting. Alright, sub fades. Thankfully, no matter what happens here, I win the game thanks to Life Orb. So, I'm gonna click Roost for fun. That'll be GG. Whew, what a game. That was... <laughs> That's the second game with Altaria and the second impressive time I'm having with Altaria. Headlong Rush, gonna do about half damage to me. And then Great Tusk will fall to its own life orb. <laughs> Listen, I expected to get maybe a win in today's episode. Didn't expect to get two. And definitely am starting to expect we're gonna get a third. So let's go ahead and just... Do that all over again. My opponent is top 1000 using size spam and Dondozo. Let's see if Altaria can do it. Hey, the problem with Dondozo though, is that the plus six that I am gonna get don't actually matter, which is a little bit unfortunate. Does this Amoongus have clear smog? Thankfully, yes. So I do need to bring the Amoongus this game no matter what I do, which means I'm gonna be forced into Altaria and Amoongus. That's two Pokemon that don't do any damage. But it might be worth it in the end. Let's go with our Among Us. What Terra am I actually? Dark Pork. Perfect. All right. Let's go with Among Us. I'm going Among Us King Gambit. Bring the Altaria. In the back. I got to decide which is the best late game. It's looking like it's a bundle here. Because I could freeze dry nearly everything on this team and Hydro Pump the other half. So yeah, I'm feeling the bundle. It's definitely a bundle kind of game. Now, I'm a little bit concerned about... Um, excuse me. I'm a little bit concerned about the Sylveon. Because Sylveon, if left unchecked, can make a lot of things happen. And my opponent is not a not a bad player. They're top 1,000 on in the world, so... Alright, and DD Armors to start off the day. Fascinating. I'm kind of welcome to Trick Room at this point. Let's see if they just let me hit them, though. I'm going to go for a Terrastalization. And then just a Spore into the Armor spot. Followed by a big Kotel onto the Ndidi. We'll see how this turn plays out. Now, the Ndidi could, could Fairy Terra, the Armourouge could Grass Terra, but both can't happen, right? They gotta make a decision which they Terra with right here, right now, and I'm covered for both. Now, there's the Terra. It's gonna be the Armourouge, so my Spore will not happen, but I will eliminate the Ndidi from the game, hopefully. Yes, I should. I'm Black Glasses. I definitely should. Then I'm also going to be Dark Terra, so they can't even go for the Expanding Force onto me. They can still go for, like, Armor Cannon. But I'm kind of open to that right now. Oh, they're, one, they're going. I'm assuming it's Expanding Force. Yeah, nice try. Haha! -ha. <laughs> Heard you like dark types. I gave you another one. Kotal Cleave onto the Ndidi. Good riddance, dude. Good riddance. And they didn't set Trick Room up this turn, which means I have another turn to do something fancy. All right. I covered myself for both scenarios, and I think that was the best case. Sends out Tatsu. That means they have Bozo? Wild. They probably bring it on the field right now. 
Okay, I got nothing to lose by just clear smog in that spot, no matter what happens. Alright, I'll keep the King Gambit on the field. Again, I have nothing to lose by... I guess Kotowing into that spot should be fine. Typically, Armourers just don't carry Protect, so they carry Trickerman and Wide Guard, so... Draco Meteor right away. I should be able to take one, though. Plus the armor cannon. Got it. That's smart. They double my Amoongus. I could be in trouble. Especially if I'm able to do a lot of damage here with the Koto. I was kind of hoping that Dondozo would swap there, but I guess not. Oh, and it's Life Orb. Okay. We're learning a lot. I think I'm going to be able to knock this out here, though. No, I'm not good. I honestly would rather have them be forced to swap in than anything else. I'm going to bring in the Altaria because they definitely don't expect Altaria to carry Willow, right? Here's the question, though. Yeah, I'm going to Willow. I can't sucker yet because of the terrain, though. Part of me wants the Willow, but part of me also just wants the Dragon Breath. I could also wait to Willow till next turn. Like, do I have to Willow this turn? Let me just Dragon Breath and then hard swap a bundle in here. Okay, I could have Willowed. That would have been great if I Willowed there, but it's fine. They're going to send out Don Dozo. I can encore Dozo into a stupid move. That, that That's my way against Dozo. That's my way around Dozo. Just force it to do a stupid move. Oh, this, if I got a Willow here, it would have been huge, man. It would have been huge, but that was, a, that, that was a, a difficult call to make. I feel like that was the more risky play. If I went for the Willow. It's fine, though. It's fine. Not upset, I'm just mad. It's all good. Maybe I get a para here. Dragon Breath can para, right? Because it stinks so bad or something. Okay, they're lefties, so that means they're probably yikes. I'm not even doing any damage to that. Alright. Um, I will try to Willow. I still don't think they expect me to have Willow, so I could catch them off guard. Followed by just a regular freeze dry for now. We'll keep it simple. I kind of need them to go for a, a protect or something first. They go for the order up. I think I take one. I do. Nice. Raise their attack. Well, now that they know I have Willow. Ugh. That kind of sucks. Now that they know that I have Willow, they're going to play it cautiously. They could protect here, which is nice. Because if they do, I encore them. And I punish them for it. Protect. 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 Protect? Why aren't you protecting? Dude. They order up twice. They're gonna knock out my, my wind con. They never protected. You saw me go for Willow and you're not afraid? Fear the Willow, dude. Oh, they're, they don't fear the Willow because they have rest, though. Chest, though, don't they? I hate those old players. This is toxic. All right, does Psychic Terrain go away at least so that I can hit this Dozo? They're just going to rest it all back. Oh, that's so stupid. Yeah, Psychic Terrain does go away, but they're not going to let me attack them, I don't think. I mean, I'll bring out King Gambit, but I highly doubt they're going to just keep attacking me. I'm going to Cotton Guard just because they're protecting. Let's just go for the Kotel. Oh, the EQ. This 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 Dozo doesn't have Protect. This Dozo doesn't use Protect. It only attacks. It's the only attack Dozo set. Do I live? Hardly. I set the, the Cotton Guard, but it doesn't actually matter. So maybe I should Sucker Punch next turn. The Burn is at least mitigating the Lefty's recovery. The Sucker Punch isn't going to be enough to knock out, but maybe a Sucker Punch plus a... Nah, even Dragon Breath isn't going to be enough to knock it out. But if they're going to EQ me anyway, right? Might as well. 
Now, I know the Congar doesn't actually do anything here, but I don't really have a better play. Yeah, they're never protecting. It's the never protect Dozo set. There's a second EQ. Hey, listen, if it's Altaria versus the world, I think Altaria will be kind of a okay. I think Altaria can take most things thrown at it. Dragon Breath? Are you kidding me? Does Burn go before lefties? Of course not. Of course it doesn't. Yikes. All right. But they're, if they're order up, Earthquake. Presumably protect. Or is it sleep top caress? I guess we'll find out. No, they just have order up. Dude, that's not even funny how much damage that still does. Yeah. Yeah, this tracks. I mean, hey, my opponent is pretty good. Like I said, they were top 1,000. I need a couple of things to go wrong here for me to win the game still. I think my only win condition, currently, is a Draco miss? Are they still negative two? They're still negative two. I think a Draco miss plus a roost happening is my only way. Let's try it out. See if we can get through this turn. Nope, Draco doesn't miss. GG. <laughs> ah! The fact that my opponent never protected threw me off. It really did. I'm starting to think. Didn't have it. It was order up earthquake. Those are the only two moves I saw. <laughs> I just didn't have protect. Didn't care. Oh, jeez, man. GG. It's going to take home a loss in today's episode. But hey, it was a fun game. We got dozoed. What can I say? Regardless, let's go ahead and get you guys that rental code. And here you have the rental code for the Altaria team. Sassafras. I honestly think this team is not actually awful. I know you were super not convinced in your video that this team was, was, was going to be worth it. And you thought it was maybe too spicy, but... I, I had nothing but a good time today. Yes, we took a loss today. Was that loss our fault? I think it was more our fault and not really Altaria's fault. I think we could have won that a lot sooner. All we had to do was just predict them to keep attacking, which we never did. Um, or just don't predict all the protects, right? I mean, we were just put in a situation. Maybe they knew that I had Encore at this point. I don't know, because it was like... I, this was my Dundozo counter. Dundozos love to click uh, protect, love to click sub, love to click sleep talk, love to click rest. That's how you force them into just doing that until the rest of time. They can't even bring in a buddy to save them. You could just encore lock them, and that's all you need to be a dozo. The, uh, the issue was, the dozo would just never click status move, so I couldn't lock them onto anything. So it was just a kind of garbage situation from the start. The Amoongus was, uh, went down way too early, a lot more early than I wanted it to. Obviously, the clear smog on, on the dozo was my other way around it, especially after I forced the Terra onto the, the Armor Rouge. But that didn't end up happening because they focused down my Amoongus very, very quickly, which makes sense. Amoongus is tend to carry clear smog it's one of the few pokemon that get access to clear smog but other than that i thought this team was absolutely fabulous i had a really good time with it make sure to check out sassafras's channel we'll leave a link to his channel down below in the description also if you guys are watching and you've gotten this far in the video and you haven't clicked subscribe yet go ahead and do so you clearly like me enough to stick around this long anyway i can't this sports thank you guys so much for watching have a great night and peace out Bye bye